it, leave it, leave it. Anyway, this is April 20th, right next to, I'm, I'm next to Ann, and Megan's over there. Hi, Megan. <laughs> and uh, Ann, I've uh, been coming here for like a month, right? Like a month. And uh, what happened was she first came here and she was a little, somewhat overwhelmed. Yeah, you know. Why don't you explain your story and why, why, and why you're here? Okay. Well, the main thing is, um, last June I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, and I was hospitalized, and luckily no surgery, um, put on steroids, and um, ever since then, my doctor had me on medication, which I've been determined to get off, and he keeps telling me, you know, sometimes you just have to accept that you're going to be on something for life, you weigh. There's no cure for ulcerative yeah. colitis, medically. Oh that's what they say, and There's I said, no, no I'm curing myself, I will not be living with this disease, right. I was determined. So, January, I just sort of kept my eyes and ears open, kept asking everyone, you know, what you're doing, if I ran into someone in Whole Foods or whatever. And no one really had an answer. Did you tell anything about me? I didn't know. Well, someone a long time ago had told me about right. your place here, but right. I'd never been here. Okay. And, I, you know, I, I didn't know. You stop someone in Whole Foods and says, do you know how to kill Whole Foods? No, he place? actually... <laughs> is that how that, that, no, you're doing that? No, it was a guy who, was, who had some things sampling, and I said, well, what, what's in it? Because I, everything I try, I always have to ask, what's in it? Because right. I had so many dietary restrictions. And he said, um, he told me what was in it, and he said, why? And he told me he had ulcerative colitis. Oh, wow. So that was how we got into that conversation. But um, long story short, hey, come on, I, get I ran into someone who wrote a book, and um, in her book she right. mentioned Arnold's Way, and I'm like, oh, there's that name of that store again. Right. So that's when I came here. What book was it that you read? Yeah. He Perfect. immediately gave me that self heal. Oh, the book that I read? Mm -hmm. um, Raw really Inspirations. Uh, Raw Inspirations? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lisa. Yeah. Okay. And I met her in Barnes & Noble. I was okay. chatting with her. Okay, cool. good. So kind of like my journey started yeah. there. Right. And then I came here, and you gave me the self-healing, also right. colitis and Crohn's, which is the book I've been looking for. I mean, you know, you go online, and yeah. you type something uh, in, and video. it doesn't pull up anything. I'm like, well, where has this book been hiding? <laughs> so, yeah. that's been... That's probably one of the best Ever books out then, there. I've just, you know, I mean, now it's just fruits and, fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. And you just said you went off full medication. I went off my medication. And I feel great. About two weeks ago, I said, you know what, I don't, and, and I stopped taking my supplements too, my vitamin wow. supplements, wow. and I feel great, like my energy's coming back, it was hard at first, detoxing, getting headaches, but now I just feel great. You still go to the doctor's, by the way? No, I can't, <laughs> I can't my colonoscopy. <laughs> what were some of the symptoms that you were having, so like in case somebody else was having before, it? Before, mm -hmm. oh, it was bad, for about a year, it just kept getting worse and worse, started off with diarrhea, mm -hmm. and then, um, and then blood. Wow, blood Every day. No, not in urine. In, um, every time I had a bowel movement. Wow. And then um, I, I didn't want to go to the doctor because I was scared they were going to tell me it was cancer. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go for a long time. Yeah, I was like, you know what, I, I don't want to know. You're a young woman, so. So, yeah. And I health, I was always healthy, you were always so healthy, I thought. So like, you thought. Yeah. I mean, I was. You're an athlete. An athlete. I thought I was doing the right things. Right. Um, fruit, vegetables. And you're a lot of, a lot of protein eggs then? Eggs and seafood. Seafood. Yeah, lots of seafood, lots, lots of sushi, of, lots of sushi, and rice, and, and eggs, eggs, yeah. Oh, that's actually but, and caffeine. Cold. And caffeine. And now I have no caffeine. No caffeine. I wasn't a big drinker before anyway, so that wasn't hard. No alcohol. And I'm telling no you, eggs. I feel awesome. Oh, I feel good. great. And I, this is just the beginning. It's now you come here every day for bananas, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't keep up with bananas. Strawberry and coconut banana whip. Uh -huh. But I think the the greatest thing is that you. Um, didn't just accept what the doctor was telling you, like, you just have to take this pill and that's it, and you said no, like, you just kind of felt like there was going to be another way, and if you yeah. search for it, you'll find it. That's it. You're we right. have a lot of films out there. We have over 400 it. films on 400 different diseases. For the most part, people share a story, whatever they had, how it disappears. Same thing happened to me. I mean, I went to doctors right. for, like, eight or nine months, and they just said, there's nothing wrong with you, you're not sleeping enough. Like, I'm sleeping all the time. What do you they, they don't the know how to treat you. Not that which means ulcerative colitis it doesn't get it doesn't get any better. The next, the last final stage is part of the intestinal tract.
much. You yeah, know? exactly. Like, which is that's Rabbit's what they do today. Actually, pretty lucky. They do today. They cut out part of the intestinal tract. Isn't that what Susan's sister had? Susan's sister had a hole in her intestinal tract. But wasn't it from that though? Yeah. That and diverticulitis. Yeah. I she had a hole in her intestinal tract. The doctor afraid this one woman who worked with us. And uh, actually, sh she's going to give a lecture here. I think the biggest thing is is people. Choices based on knowledge and not on fear, and doctors really get you with a lot of the fear. Yeah, they do. I'm so thankful every day. I think. Oh, and thank you, Arnold, <laughs> Megan, and God. Now you can help other people. I'm with, so thankful. With yeah. You know, and but they don't, it's hard because they're very so. Hard. They don't want to hear it. They hear what the world is saying, what the medical um, community is saying. So it's hard. I mean, even in my family, I'm trying to change them one step at a time. But give them banana whips. My son. <laughs> yeah, he was so excited when he came in the other day. Yeah, yeah but he's the closest to a fruit right. fruitarian right. in my family. <laughs> okay. What about your husband? Thinks about all this. But... He loves it for me, and he's made some healthy changes. But he's not willing to give up his seafood. Okay. So okay. maybe someday when he sees how great I'm feeling when I'm running marathons. <laughs> and, and sees you not aging and. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. You that's the thing. I know I'll really never stop. be diseased again. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. That is exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. And you'll be able to run to, to the Bay Anywhere. Anywhere. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you run to California more. No. Yeah, all right. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. Okay. Is that anything? I think that's about it. That's it. Bye. Bye.